Let us begin a new chapter in medical biochemistry which is vitamins. Vitamins have been defined as organic compounds occurring in small quantities in natural foods which are responsible for normal nutrition and health. And these vitamins are also extremely important for various metabolic reactions in the body. And majority of the vitamins act as coenzymes for all the types of metabolisms like carbohydrate, lipids as well as proteins. And now before going into detailed discussion of various types of vitamins, let us talk about classification of vitamins. Vitamins are classified depending on its solubility. Like this, we have two categories over here. First is the fat soluble vitamins and second one is the water soluble vitamins. There are like four vitamins which are present in the fat soluble category which is vitamin A, D, E and K and if you talk about the water soluble vitamins all B complex vitamins come under water soluble along with the vitamin C. So this is about the classification of vitamins. Now let us begin with the first one called as vitamin A. Retinol and beta carotene are the two major forms of vitamin A and both of them have anti-cancer activity. So beta carotene is a pro-hormone like vitamin D and it is mainly obtained from plant foods. There are like three important forms of vitamins of vitamin A which is retinol, alcoholic form of vitamin A, retinol which is the aldehyde form and the retinoic acid which is the carboxylic form of vitamin A. So here the normal blood levels are approximately 18 to 60 micrograms per deciliter and retinol which is the alcoholic form of the vitamin A is exclusively found in animal foods like milk, cheese, butter and oily fish. When we talk about plants Beta carotene is found in green leafy vegetables, red as well as orange fruits, examples like carrots, tomatoes, apricots and also in species like algae. And now let us concentrate on unit of activity and daily requirement of vitamin A. So activity is actually expressed as international unit. So international unit is equal to that of 0.3 micrograms of retinol which is equal to that of 0.344 micrograms of retinal acetate or 0.6 micrograms of beta carotene. So it is also expressed now as retinol equivalent that is one retinol equivalent is equal to one micrograms of retinol. And what is the daily requirement? Adult male and female approximately require 600 micrograms per day. And its requirement increases in growing children, pregnant women as well as lactating mothers. For example, if you see in children, they require approximately 400 micrograms per day. But in pregnancy, the demand increases. So the requirement will be approximately 800 micrograms per day and in lactation it is approximately 950 micrograms per day. Now what about the absorption of vitamin A? Vitamin A is absorbed in the small intestine. Beta carotene which is obtained from the plant foods is converted in the body into retinol in the small intestine. And this retinol is transported in the blood with the help of retinol binding protein. So about 95% of the vitamin A is stored as ester form which is also called as retinol ester. Mainly the ester is the palmitate. There's a reason we will call it as retinyl palmitate is the storage form of vitamin A in the liver. And it is released into the plasma whenever required. So approximately 10 to 20 milligram of vitamin A is present as per 100 grams of liver. And let us talk about 
various functions of vitamin A. Its predominant role is in the vision. So retina has two types of receptor cells, rods and cones. So rods are the one which are more sensitive to the low illumination which is called as scotopic vision. And these rods are made up of a conjugated protein called as rhodopsin which contains opsin as well as an aldehyde called as leaven cis retinol which is the vitamin A. So what happens is on exposure to the light this leaven cis retinol is converted into all trans retinol and vice versa what you can see over here in the valves visual cycle. And there are approximately 100 million rods in the human retina. And when we talk about cones, cones are exclusively sensitive to the bright light vision. There's a reason we will call it as photopic vision. Not only that, it is also extremely important for color vision and also determining the shapes of the objects like senses. And cones have a pigment called as iodopsin and rods have a pigment called as rhodopsin. And this retina has 5 million cones and maximally seen in the macula. And there is a best mnemonic over here to remember. Cones for color vision or curves and rods to see images in rat that is night. In acne, all trans retinol that is tretinoin is used topically but while 13 cis retinol isotretinoin is used orally. And this vitamin A plays a pi vital role in growth and development in children as well as epithelialization. In the eyes, alcohol interferes with conversion of retinol to retinaldehyde. And now let us concentrate on vitamin A deficiency. Xerophthalmia occurs mainly due to vitamin A deficiency. We have a WHO classification to describe various stages of vitamin A deficiency. The first one is called as X1A stage where there is a conjunctival xerosis and it is a first clinical sign what we will see in vitamin A deficiency. And next stage is the X1B where you can see the development of bitot spots and X2 is the one which is corneal xerosis. Next is the X3A, there is corneal ulceration and keratomalacia less than one third of the cornea. And X3B is the next stage, there also you will see the corneal ulceration as well as keratomalacia but the area which is involved is greater, that is greater than one third of the cornea. And XS is the corneal scarring, XN is the pre-terminal stage called as night blindness and it is the first clinical symptom and XF is the final manifestation which is called as xerophthalmic fundus. So according to WHO classification all these are the stages of vitamin A deficiency and in the final stage the patient develops complete blindness. And what is a prevalence criteria for xerophthalmia? At risk or preschool children approximately 6 months to 6 years where serum retinol concentration is less than 10 micrograms per deciliter and greater than 5%, night blindness greater than 1%, bite out spots greater than 0.5% and the corneal ulcer is greater than 0.05%. So here the corneal xerosis, ulceration and keratomalacia is greater than 0.01%. So here vitamin A deficiency is considered a public health problem if prevalence rate of night blindness in children from 6 months to 6 years is greater than 1%. And the most immediate treatment of night blindness is the administration of vitamin A orally. And now let us talk about vitamin A prophylaxis. So child who is like uh, less than 12 months is supplemented with 1 lakh unit of vitamin A along with measles vaccine and greater than 12 months age supplemented with 2 lakh international units of vitamin A for every 6 months 
till six years. Vitamin A supplementation administered in prevention of nutritional blindness in children program is one lakh international units. Now, what about the vitamin A deficiency treatment? So, if the patient is less than one year, one lakh international units on day zero, one and fourteen, and if the patient is greater than one year, then it will be like two lakh international units on day zero, one and fourteen. And now next is the deficiency. So the deficiency of the vitamin A can cause night blindness, dry skin that is follicular hyperkeratosis, squamous metaplasia of the cornea as well as conjunctival epithelium leading to dry eyes and bite out spots and pneumonia can also develop in extreme cases. And whenever the vitamin A is excess, that is in the overdose of vitamin A, it can cause lysosomal damage and other clinical manifestations in vitamin A toxicity is headache, sore throat, alopecia, liver damage and arthralgia. So simultaneous zinc deficiency can interfere with the mobilization of vitamin A from the liver stores. And this is what you need to know about vitamin A.